Hey guys, um, I'm getting ready to go to my, uh, my daughter. It's her, uh, first child and she's, um, having her, her shower today for the baby and, uh, and it's so cool guys, but, um, and it's her first, but anyway, she's my only daughter and my middle child and, and it, and it just kind of makes you a little nostalgic, I guess sometimes. And, um, and you know, she's a born again believer too, and it's just so cool. But, um, anyway, I just thought I would show you, um, a picture of my dad. He, um, he died, um, back in 06 and, um, he was in the air force and a Vietnam war era vet and, and uh, he died of complications of um, Agent Orange-induced diabetes. And um, and I was diabetic during my pregnancies, and so was Carmen. But um, little Nora Grace is hanging in there. And this was his mother, Lillian, my grandmother. And uh, her name was Lillian Stein. And her grandfather was a rabbi. And, um, and this is... Uh, my dad's dad and we always just called him Hollywood because he had such a great smile and nobody had perfect teeth back then I guess I don't know he was born around 1900 so he uh he was already gone by the time I got here in 1965 but um uh in either case um I just thought that you guys would like to see that because um I think it's so wonderful that um uh, the Lord um he grafted us in it doesn't matter, you know, whether we're Jew or Gentile or, or how much, um, you know, of a percentage of our blood. I know that some of my, um, sisters have done their DNA testing and everything. And, you know, and I mean, it's not like we didn't know these things. Um, but we are Gentiles and, uh, and raised that way. And, um, praise Jesus that we know him and that our eyes were not blinded. Because I know that it could have been, and it is that way for so many people. And um, so, in either case, let us pray, guys, that um, that the ones that are to be with us and to um, and to not have to go through the tribulation will be called close to Jesus very soon, and that they will see the revelation. And for any of my um, uh, fellow Jewish um, brethren out there um, who know God but are not sure that Jesus is the son of God and they're still waiting on Mashiach. Um, I ask you to do this, go to Isaiah chapter 23 and read it for yourself. And you'll see that that Mashiach did come 2000 years ago. And, uh, and you'll see who Jesus was for yourself and, and just do this, ask your, ask him to reveal himself to you, right? In the still quiet hours of the night, when it's just you and your thoughts, say, Jesus, if you're real and if you're the son of God and you weren't just a prophet, please reveal yourself to me because I want to know the truth. And I promise you that it will change and you will understand and your eyes will be opened um, to many things. And uh, because he said, I am the way, the truth and the life. So I just thought I'd make this video today and I hope it means something to someone out there. And, um, I love you guys and my dogs are killing each other as usual every time I turn on the video. So they're like little kids. So, um, I love you guys and I'm sure we'll talk real soon.